So I just upgraded the brakes on my Volcom Brat to the Megura MT5Es. I noticed the brakes were a little bit soft after I did the upgrade, so I wanted to do a quick brake bleed. It's a real simple process and only takes a minute if you have the right tools. You're gonna need a syringe uh, with the right fittings at the end and a small hole at the top above the milliliter marker. The bleed kit I have came with two syringes, so I was able to test this out by drilling a small hole at the top. You're gonna need Magura Royal Blood, 100 milliliters for $13 on Amazon, affiliate link below a T25 Torx screwdriver head, and a screwdriver. This is the only size you'll need to loosen your lever and unscrew the oil plug. You can get a bleed kit that includes many of the necessary tools that I'm using here, so click the link below. Next, you're going to adjust your brake lever so the bleed port is level. Do that by unscrewing one of the screws to make it loose. Raise it up and tighten that back down. Great job. Now remove the bleed screw and set that aside within reach. You're going to use that in a second after we get this process done. Pop that thing out. Now fill your syringe with royal blood to about 20%. Be sure to release any air bubbles that may be in the syringe by pushing the plunger slowly. You can either drip it back into the container or push it back into a paper towel for easy cleanup. Using the correct fitting supplied in the bleed kit, screw the syringe into the bleed port and make sure to keep it vertical. Once you do that while holding the syringe, pull up on the plunger to create a vacuum in the system. If there's air in the system like you'll see here, you'll see bubbles escaping into the chamber. Keep pulling on the plunger until you get past the hole at the top. Once you do, the vacuum you created will release and equalize, keeping the released air in the chamber, replacing it with royal blood in the lines. If there seems to be a lot of air in the system, you can repeat the process a few times to try and get the rest of the air out. Worst case scenario, you're going to have to do a full bleed on the system, but sometimes it does work itself out. Now unscrew the syringe from the brake plug and set that aside. Another trick I like to do to get the air out of the system is to attach the cone that came with the bleed kit and add some royal blood. After doing this, pull the brake lever a few times, which will cause any air in the system to be pushed out and topped off. Once you're done with that, unscrew the cone, plug up the hole at the bottom while you're doing it, and let it drip back into the royal blood container. I mean, it's royal blood after all. And once this process is done, you can put the bleed screw back in place. The screw's made of plastic, so you don't need a whole lot of torque to tighten it. Just barely past its natural stop as you're turning the screwdriver. In nerd terms, it's a half a newton meter. The rubber seal on the screw will make sure it's in place, and once that's done, you can wipe down the whole thing with a rag you should have already had handy. Now you can readjust your brake lever to where you like it and screw it back to lock it in place. Your brakes should be more responsive at this point after the whole process. Pull the brakes a few times, you should see a steady pull on the lever while it returns to the normal position. You, you're still here? It's over. Get out and ride. Like. Subscribe. Bye.